My name is Nahla Andila and the project is about implementing interprofessional education as part of continuous education programs or CME programs for healthcare professionals and specifically in critical care as this is my specialty. This was a primary Gantt chart and uh, supposedly the primary Gantt chart, I was supposed to conduct the workshop as live workshop in August, actually in this month. But because of the COVID, there was a lot of changes done. Of course, this is the miles to the stars, but I will talk about it using the other slides. Uh, the stakeholders and the resources or the ones involved in this workshop was mainly one, uh, more than one stakeholder. The private company uh, I'm a co-founder at, it's, it's concerned with education for healthcare professionals and hospitals that would be concerned for conducting this workshop for their staff, physicians and pharmacists, and physicians or consultants who would be uh, encouraged to share as instructors uh, or as speakers in these workshops. And finally, medical companies who would be interested to sponsor such workshops. So there were more than one stakeholder involved and actually I uh, will talk about them and the changes that happened. And the outcome for this workshop and having interprofessional education and having a kind of simulating the real case scenario where more than one professional talk together in, um, in front of the patient is to improve the teamwork, have a new learning experience, and uh, not like the traditional experience, even hopefully when it's, it's done and it's good and there's a good feedback. It can be repeated in different topics, not just in the critical care. It can be repeated between different specialities. And hopefully to become, and this is a dream, to become mandatory as CME programs for by syndicate of medicine or the syndicate of pharmacists. The successful factors or may not uh, successful factors, but mainly the milestones that can help in implementing such workshop is uh, already a company concerned with healthcare professional education and the team is interested for implementing such project. But the challenges, and this is a problem, of course there was the COVID problem that was not written before, and accepting the concept, not everywhere is, not everyone is aware of the interprofessional education workshop and making sure that the attendance percentage is as uh, planned, for example, that 50% physician, 50% pharmacist, to ensure that the design of the workshop is not easy. So uh, actually uh, no workshop, or let, let's talk for now. Uh, I didn't have this workshop implemented and I had uh, faced some problems in convincing the stakeholders the hospitals, uh, we had a problem in the percentage because most of the percentage of physicians is much more than the clinical pharmacists, so it wouldn't be applied in hospitals. Uh, physicians and uh, as speakers, yes, they are uh, interested to join, but medical companies, they have different uh, political issues inside. They sponsor either physicians or pharmacists. They don't have a target for both. And um, so last, before COVID, I was just talking to the syndicate and that was a plan to have uh, syndicates of Alexandria of Pharmacy and Medicine come do it together. But of course, after the COVID uh, circumstances, they had much important issues to be concerned with. So for now, um, we're trying to do, it, to do it online, but it wouldn't be sponsored. It would be uh, just for a small uh, number, but uh, to make the physicians buy in the idea and make them interested to attend is the real problem. So I think the lessons learned that I should involve more than one stakeholder because they might help each other or push, push or motivate each other and um, find a motive to encourage the physicians to attend. There, there must be a motive to make them attend such uh, an, a new uh, concept for them. And the changes made, as I talked before, that the stakeholder changed from hospitals, then to medical companies, then back to the syndicates, and then back to medical companies, maybe again. And uh, of course, it has to be through webinars for now, not through live sessions. So it has to be a small uh, number. Uh, that's why medical companies are not that interested in sponsoring it for now. Um, but hopefully we'll get, to, we'll get to make it soon. Okay, thank you.